Here are seven attitudes that will set you apart from 90% of people. Number one, positive optimism. You are capable of embracing a positive outlook on life, believing in your abilities to overcome challenges and achieve greatness. However, it starts in your mind. As cheesy as it may sound, as corny as it may sound, you can't set out to accomplish what you want if you don't believe in yourself at first. So how do you get there? Practice daily affirmations, surround yourself with positive influences, and start to focus on solutions rather than dwelling on problems. So much of achieving your goals in life is believing that you deserve them and believing that you can accomplish them before you ever see any kind of success. So start reaffirming these beliefs every day. Write down your goals so that you can begin to visualize them. See the vision of your future self. Envision it. Envision yourself in that role. Envision yourself in that house. And so on and so forth. Number two, resilient grit. You need to develop a resilient spirit that bounces back from setbacks and keeps pushing forward no matter the obstacles. And how do you do that? Set small achievable goals. Celebrate progress and remind yourself of your past triumphs during tough times. People seem to think that people who are well off or people who are successful don't have setbacks in life and that's not the case. Whatever stage you're at in life, you're always going to go through hard times. But what sets people apart is pushing through those hard times and understanding at the end of the day, you're going to have to be the one who picks yourself up. Other people can help you, but you're the one who has to bounce back from your hard times. Resilient grit. Keep grinding through. Keep pushing forward. Keep going no matter what. It doesn't mean you can't take a break. It doesn't mean you can't take some time to relax, but always move forward step by step, inch by inch, small goal by small goal. But no matter what happens, never give up. If you have the mindset of never giving up, you're already 50% ahead of everyone else. Why? Because most people who start on journeys or goals, be it fitness or some kind of financial journey, they end up giving up. Number three, proactive initiative. You need to take charge of your life and actively seek opportunities for growth and improvement. How do you do this? Step out of your comfort zone, seize new challenges, and be proactive in pursuing your goals. What does that look like? Hang around new people. Hang around in environments that push you to be better. Take on challenges that push you to be better. There's wisdom after wisdom, quote after quote, that teaches us one of the most dangerous places to be is in an area of comfort. Why? Because you're not challenged to grow. The biggest growth in my life occurred when I was uncomfortable. The biggest growth in my life also occurred when I was around people who were successful, be it engineers, doctors, lawyers. As soon as I put myself around those crowds, I was pushed to be the best version of myself. So what does that mean? Be intentional about your goals. You can't just sit back and hope that they magically occur. Put yourself in environments that challenge you to succeed, that challenge you to be your best that you know are going to bring out the best in you. Sometimes people make all these goals and these visions and they think they're gonna magically happen. That's not how it works, that's not how life works. Be intentional, be intentional about who you surround yourself with. Be intentional where you're hanging out. Be intentional about the challenges you take on knowing that when you get through those challenges, you'll come out a better person. Number four, adaptive flexibility. You want to try to be capable of embracing change and being flexible in your approach to adapt to evolving circumstances. Why is that? Life can go up and down in the snap of a finger. It can go south, your health might go down, you might get fired from your job, and so on and so forth. And because life is a roller coaster, in order to get through it, you need to be adaptive, you need to be flexible. How do you get through this? Well, practice mindfulness stay in the present view change as a chance to learn and grow but you what you don't want to do is you don't want to panic as the ups and downs occurs keep your mind sane be at peace and understand that you're going to get through it 
view every downfall as an opportunity to grow and to learn view your setbacks as an opportunity to learn and to grow adapt to the changing circumstance take from it how it can make you better in life and how it can allow you to progress towards your overall goal in the end number five empowering self-belief have the power to cultivate self-belief and confidence in your abilities to conquer doubts and achieve your dreams like i said earlier you have to believe in yourself we're all humans but what sets us apart is how do you deal with those doubts what is your confidence in yourself like Before anyone else's belief in you becomes effective, you must first believe in yourself. You must believe in whatever it is you set out and are trying to achieve. And how do you work yourself towards this? Cut out all forms of negative talk. At the end of the day, it's your thoughts and your voice you hear more than anybody else. So cut out all negative talks. Talk about yourself in the way you would talk about someone you love. Celebrate your achievements and visualize your success regularly. It's true that in life, your thoughts become your reality. So think on good things, think on those successes, and continue to think on them daily, and watch how you win. Always believe in yourself, no matter what. Number six, open-minded learning. Have the capacity to stay curious, to be open to new ideas, and to continuously seek knowledge and self-improvement. We live in a world where a lot of people are egotistical, they're know-it-alls, they don't want to learn more, and so on and so forth. Don't be that individual. Understand that you are a single person, your knowledge is going to be limited. But in order to expand it, surround yourself around people who know more than you. Read books, attend workshops, seek feedback to broaden your horizons and acquire new skills. And if you continue to do this every day, you'll be unstoppable. It doesn't necessarily mean read 20 books in a month or, you know, be a walking encyclopedia. It's an attitude and a willingness to learn, to learn from new people, to be humble and hear different perspectives, to receive different sides of an argument or of a political issue, but overall continuously seeking knowledge and in return, you're gonna notice that you are achieving self-improvement in that process. Always keep your mind open to learning. Number seven, purposeful focus. You possess the focus necessary to stay aligned with your long-term vision, prioritizing your task, and minimizing distractions. What does that look like? A lot of people have goals, they have dreams, and even though those goals and dreams are powerful in their minds, they get distracted with things like clubbing, too much partying, too much drinking, entertainment, and so on and so forth. Have focus. Ask yourself how serious you are about accomplishing said dream, said goal, and be laser focused about it. That doesn't mean not to relax, that doesn't mean not to have leisure time. But what it means is to be zeroed in and to understand what it is you're trying to accomplish in life. One way to do this is to regularly review your progress and constantly realign your actions with your goals. Set what your goals are and say no to everything that doesn't align with that. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment your thoughts, and I look forward to dropping more content like this in the future. Be blessed.